readers who find holiday time a bit boring, not enough money to get away and not much to do at home, a Glasgow rock music band have decided to stage an open-air concert tonight in the city's Calvin Grove Park. They're giving their services free to mark the start of Glasgow's fair fortnight. And they've managed to get the authorities on their side. Louise Batchelor now reports. The weather isn't terribly promising at the moment, but it's hoped that it will improve and that by 10 o'clock tonight, around 2,000 people will be gathered here for the park's first free late-night rock concert. It's the first time permission has been given for a nighttime event here, but this concert does have some special significance because it's the band's contribution to the Pride of the Clyde celebrations and the Glasgow's Miles Better campaign. It also highlights an aspect of the city, and indeed of Scotland, that the tourist literature tends to neglect. That is a currently thriving rock scene with a number of bands surfacing in the national pop charts. Bands like H2O, Altered Images and Big Country. You want. The Dolphins hope to be joining that list. Their spokesman is singer, guitarist and keyboard player Campbell Forbes. Well, people have always said there's been a lot of talent in and around Glasgow and I believe so. I just don't think it gets enough exposure because we're north of Watford, as they say. But uh, the likes of H2O breaking in the charts is good for everybody and they worked hard at it. I like to see that you know, they worked really hard at it. They've been at it a good few years and they deserve the success they have. And again, that opens doors for, for bands like that. There was a spate maybe about two or three years ago. A lot of independent bands uh, got a lot of exposure, but not as big, not as much chart success as recently. And now the main... Always, well, you know, the last series of Untouched Killers is the show, we had a great... ...dry up if the city's licensing laws aren't brought into line with those of the rest of the country. Tonight, musicians and publicans unite at the beginning of a campaign to change those laws, as Reva Alderson reports. <laughs> At a jazz concert tonight in the Mitchell Theatre, the case would be put for a change in the licensing laws which forbid Glasgow publicans to charge admission when they're providing live entertainment. The Musicians' Union, which represents both jazz men and rock musicians, says this means there's less money available for the publicans to pay the bands who often have to play at a loss. Elsewhere in Scotland, they get paid twice as much for an appearance because money is charged at the door and they get a share of the takings. So what would happen if the law remains? Well, it would be just the same as junior football. If you don't have junior football, you'll never have senior football. So musicians in Glasgow in the west of Scotland would dry up. Do you feel that the public would be prepared to pay, say, a pound to come into a pub, which previously they'd been able to come to for nothing, just to hear live music? Well, this argument was put forward when we, when we put on in jukeboxes to be charged. The public wouldn't pay. But if the band was good enough and brought up their standards, as they would do, the better entertainment they would give the more people would come to see them and in this uh, climate uh, one pound is not an awful lot of money you paid to get to the theater and why shouldn't you do it it's only glasgow all the concerns in glasgow nowhere else do you think if the money was charged uh, by publicans for admission to live music the money would find its way into the musician's pocket or do you think it would be well, cleaned up by the, the publicans uh, glasgow does not flourish uh, for the musician, um, for any live music at all, we're very, very poorly paid as far as the, the, the pub licensing trade is concerned. The licensing board in Glasgow say that if admission money were to be charged, there's no guarantee that that money would go to the musicians. They also say that if publicans want to provide entertainment, they should be prepared to pay for it because they'll get the money back over the bar. And they say that some people might object to paying money to get into a pub to hear music that they wouldn't like. Well, the Musicians' Union and the licensed trade in Glasgow are now trying to work out a joint approach to change this ages-old law. 